So let's go ahead and create that image gallery. And first off, we need a section tag. And this section tag will have a class of container. Inside of that section, we're going to have a div with the class of row. And inside of that div, we're going to have a div in the, with the class of column MD4. And inside of that, we are going to have an image. And over here, we need to add an ID. And it's going to be ID gallery. And for image, we need a class for a thumbnail. So let's go ahead and get to bootstrap the computation content images. And we need this image thumbnail class. So let's go ahead and copy it, paste it. And uh, our markup is almost done for the image gallery. All we need is the source tag. And the source tag that we are going to use is similar to placeholders. But in this case, we're using Unsplash images as placeholders and to get that we need to type in this url so https source unsplash.com 400 by 400 this is the uh, image size you can do whatever you want and then we have a question mark and after question mark we can do whatever keyword we want to search for unsplash so for this case let's have a car and i need a double quote there we go and let's save the document and go to the web page and look at the local host so something is now working and by the looks of it i have somewhere a typo and let's check source unsplash and unsplash so that should fix uh, the problem and there we go we have a car so what we're going to do next is we are going to duplicate on this column md4 uh, many times and let's save the document and go and see that we have all of the same images so we're gonna change the keyword so over here we're gonna have a book then house door window cart store apple and flower just random uh, keywords for uh, unsplash search and there we have we have uh, those images are popping up from uh, the unsplash source and now we have this problem over here so we are going to fix that um, the way we are going to fix that is we're going to add some margin top to the image and we're going to have some margin top over here from the HR and also the margin top is going to fix this problem as well. So let's go back to global.scss target image and give margin top 30 pixels save the document and the reason why we are doing 30 pixels because this gap over here is 30 pixels so 15 pixels on the right 15 pixels on the left in the inside of the grid system and so we can have um, a smooth gapping all around and that's uh, how you fix that so uh, image gallery is done and the last thing that we are going to do is this uh, view toggler uh, we're going to use some javascript for that so back inside our text editor, uh, first off, we have uh, this grid button and then we have the column button. So these are the buttons that we're going to use to uh, change the view of, of our gallery. And then we have this ID gallery. So I'll go ahead and paste in the JavaScript code and then go through the code. Uh, first off, we have document already function that wraps all of our code. Then we have a uh, grid unclick event. And when we uh, click the grid button, uh, we grab this gallery and immediate uh, div children. So you can do CSS selector with uh, jQuery. And we are adding column MD4 class. And we are removing column MD12 class. So instead of column MD12, it's going to be column MD4. 
then we are grabbing this um, link this dom uh, element and we are adding active class to the dom element and on column uh, class on column um, button a tag we are removing the active tag and we are sort sort of doing the same thing on the column except for for we are doing everything in the uh, other way so on gallery there we are removing the column md4 because we want the column layout so we are removing the four columns and putting in the 12 columns another 12 column but one column the full width of um, the container and then we are adding the active class and removing the active class from the uh, grid so uh, let's save the document go to our web page and wait for it to load and when we click on column we have the columns but they are only 400 pixels and the reason for that is because our images are only 400 pixels so we need to uh, set the width to 100 percent so let's go to global.scss and on images we are gonna do width 100 percent and uh, let's just double test everything and when we click column we have a column layout uh, full with images that you can uh, look at and uh, we can change it to grid system so uh, that's done now uh, our gallery is uh, working and everything looks nice the last improvement that we can do to this project is fix this grid column manual sticking out. So if we inspect our web page and hover over this uh, image and not image but the link and go to mobile view and now hover over view toggler, we can see that it sits right on the edge of the viewport and that is not good. And the reason why is because we are using absolute uh, positioning so let's go ahead and fix that um, basically instead of this right equaling to zero we're gonna set it to 15 pixels uh, and um, now it sits uh, right where it needs to and the mobile uh, version looks nice everything looks fine and images looks uh, look okay so uh, this is it for this project. Um, it looks uh, nice, perfect, and uh, you can definitely build on top of this website and create your own random uh, images from Unsplash uh, Image Gallery.